Hey y'all, hey, good morning. I took a few days off from filming these kind of videos just because we had a lot going on and I knew I wasn't going to be able to get around to editing, so I just didn't bother. So I actually have a lot of videos to edit. It's Martin Luther King Jr. Day today, so I've got the whole day to get things done. I've already started being productive. Yesterday I was super productive too. It's awesome. I did like five loaves of laundry. I made stock. I made granola. We went to the grocery store. I went up to my grandma's. I went to the grocery store. Prepped her some meals for the next few days because she just got out of the hospital. So I don't want her like exerting herself. But yeah, I've already started off well today. Got the sheets and pillowcases and the um, decorative shower curtain in the laundry right now. And then I'm gonna wash all of our little accent pillows that don't like have a cover that comes off. Hopefully that doesn't ruin them. All the accent pillows, I mean, none of them match. They're just what we've used because they're comfortable. So I'm going to make some breakfast. I'm gonna make a bowl. I'm going to do my banana and granola cereal type thing. I did film a recipe video for my granola and I had to make some adjustments because I did a few things that just kind of speaks to the flexibility of the recipe. So I'm going to make that this morning. I've got some bananas that aren't super ripe but I'm kind of just stuck with what I've got. And these are really little, like so tiny. So I'm gonna use two of them. Let me grab a refilled my water cup too because I've just been really thirsty this morning. Just like really thirsty. I think it's like a combination of we have to keep the heat running because it was like what 11 degrees when we got home last night and so that makes it a little dry but I can't open the banana. No. It's also cold and dry at the same time outside. It's just combination of things. Why can't I open this banana? Oh, what the hell? It's probably because it's not super ripe. Okay, this is crazy. Okay, I've got it. Oh, actually, this is riper than I thought it was. That's awesome. So, I just take the spoon and chop the banana with like half of its jacket is still on. That way I don't waste a knife. I have to wash a knife. I mean, it's always better to use as few dishes as possible, then you don't have to waste as much water washing them. Okay, one banana done. Hopefully this one is not as hard to open. And I think it's going to be fudge. What the heck? Okay, I think I might need a knife. Okay, there we go. That was much easier than trying to fuss with it and getting weird banana guts under my fingernails. Anyone else having, uh, hate having stuff in their fingernails? I hate it, especially now that I've been doing acrylics. It's just been torture when things get under the nails. Okay. Two bananas. Chopped up. Chia seeds, just because I don't know, I feel like I need them. Maybe I'll do two, and I'll get a little thicker in soy milk. And then I don't measure this, I just pour it over until it looks right. You'll see this in the video, but this time around, I used walnuts instead of pecans because I didn't have pecans at the moment. I hadn't been to the grocery store yet. 
and although I always prefer pecans, they're so good. And then I used apple. I just chopped up an apple, pureed it in the blender, and used that instead of pumpkin puree because we didn't have pumpkin puree, but we did have apples, and I figured it would still taste good. sort of soak in because sometimes you pour and it's just way more than you thought it was going to be. There we go. Yummy, delicious breakfast. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this and I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'll probably come back and try my coffee even though it's the same exact way I make my coffee every time I make it coffee and soy milk. So maybe I won't come back and show you my coffee because you already know what it's going to look like. Okay. Hey guys. So it's like 1240-ish now and I'm hungry but I'm not super hungry so I'm going to have some leftover pizza from the last night. We did a some pizza and I just had a different one. So there's no cheese, just sauce, mushrooms, olives and double jalapeno so i've got two slices left minus a little of the crust i ate off of one i'm gonna eat this for lunch it's not super exciting and it's actually not a lot of food so it probably won't be very filling but i'm not crazy hungry so it should be fine and i'm still drinking plenty of water here's what we're having for dinner so i chopped up some onion red bell pepper, tomatoes, and there's some shiitake mushrooms in there. And then there's some basil, oregano, salt, pepper, paprika, uh, garlic powder, there's some actual garlic, what else, some onion powder, and just a tiny bit of clove, ground clove. Got my pasta going, and then I made a creamy sauce with some veggie stock, some soy milk, and some nooch. And then I added some cornstarch just to make it a little thicker. So that looks really good. Noodles are almost done, and then I'll add in some spinach just to add a little green. So this looks like it's gonna be pretty good. Here's my dinner. I have put some pumpkin seeds and olives on top. And it looks amazing. What do you think? <laughs> so many words. 